Hello, I'm Gary Leland, a producer of the Fast Pitch TV show, and I'm here today to tell you about the bunt sock. It's a simple little invention I've made. It's actually a sock. But if you have a kid that has trouble laying down a bunt, this may be the best training aid you've ever spent $9.95 on. The idea behind the bunt sock is really easy. It's just a sock. You can slide it over any bat so you can use it at any time. You can carry it in your back pocket, in your bat bag, wherever you want to put it at. And there's the bunt sock right there in action. As you'll notice, it has three different colored spots on it, red, white, and yellow. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that's so you can, they see it, and what they think of, that's learn, you can learn to bunt it on different areas of the bat, which it would help with that. It would help, but that is not the reason I created the bunt sock. The bunt sock was created because I felt that a lot of children, a lot of kids have a hard time laying down a bunt because they do not watch the ball till it hits the bat. A lot of kids will lay down their bunt and at the last second, you know, they'll pull it out, they'll pull their head out or they'll do this, but they don't want to watch the ball till it hits the bat. Now with a bunt sock, this teaches them to watch the ball till it hits the bat. Simply what you do is you put it on your bat and a coach, you use this, first of all you can use this with a pitch machine soft toss, however you want to use it, and the coach will yell out a color. The coach might say red, white, red, yellow. But every time the coach calls out a color, you have to bunt it with that color. So it's impossible to for the coach to call it red and you bunt it with the red unless you watch the ball till it hits the red or till it hits the white or till it hits the yellow. And what you're doing is you're learning to watch the ball till it hits the bat more so, though, you're learning to develop that skill and not go back. You know, they say anything becomes a habit if you do it for 30 days. After 30 days, you don't even have to remember to do it. It becomes a habit. That is the same concept with the bunt sock. If you bunt with this, practice bunting with this all the time, before long, it's not something you need to remember how to do. You automatically do it. So you learn that, that memory in your mind to watch that ball till it hits the bat. That's why so many times you see a little bunt that is a pop fly on the ground. It's no good. This will teach your kid how to watch the ball till it hits the bat, and I think that is the number one improvement you can make for learning how to bunt. Also, it makes a nice bat cover to keep your bat in. Now, you can use this, like I said, in soft toss. You can use this with a pitching machine. My daughter would just carry hers around, and she'd throw it on there, and she didn't even have anyone yell at a color. She'd just say to herself, I'm going to hit it with red this time. I'm going to hit it with yellow this time. This is a great tool. It also makes a great station. You know, if you've got a team and you're working with a lot of players, sometimes you'll like a station that kids can do by themselves. If you've got a pop, uh, toss machine, soft toss machine, wham, set the sock down there and practice bunting. Our two players can work it. We have a bucket of balls down there and a bunt sock. One player will soft toss while the other practices bunting. But like I said, there's no way you're going to use this all the time and not learn to watch the ball till it hits the bat. I hope you enjoy uh, the idea behind the butt sock. I hope you like this idea. And if you want to find out more information about the butt sock, just go to fastpitch.tv slash butt sock. And you can find out more information and you can buy it there, $9.95. I'm telling you, you're not going to find a cheaper training aid for learning how to bunt. And this will help your bunting, I promise. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.